Government has given the Walter Rodney Commission of Inquiry until August 30, 2015 to wrap up the hearings, arrive at its findings and present the report to President David Granger. In an extraordinary issue of the official Gazette dated July 8, under the hand of Joseph Harmon, Minister of State in the Ministry of the Presidency, a final extension was given and it would end on November 30th. The notice says, too, that the previous extension ended March 31st, 2015. The new extension take effect from the 27th of July, when the Commission is expected to sit until July 31st for one session. The Kazet is worded. The Commission shall render its report, findings, and recommendations to the President within the specified period of the extension of the life of the Commission. Meanwhile, this newscast understands that several of the Commission Secretariat staff have not been paid since March 31st. They said that they have been seeking information from the Executive Secretary to no avail. They said, too, that the troubling issue is that they have heard that some staff were paired, while others are yet to hear when they would be. They said that even though the life of the Commission ended on March 31st and they have heard that there was no money to pay the staff, the fact that some persons have been paid beyond March 31st smacks of discrimination. The Walter Rodney Commission of Inquiries, headed by Barbadian Sir Richard Cheltenham with two others in Guyana-born Trinidad Base, Senior Consul Sina Jairam and Jamaican Jacqueline Samuels Brown. It was tasked to hear the and examine the facts and circumstances immediately prior to, at the time of, and subsequent to the death of Dr. Walter Rodney, in order to determine as far as possible who or what was responsible for the explosion resulting in his death. Another aspect of the Commission's work was to find for certain who may have facilitated former GDF Sergeant Gregory Smith's departure from Guyana after Walter Rodney's death. When in opposition, the coalition criticized the operations of the commission. The current Attorney General, Basil Williams, locked horns with chair of the commission on several occasions and had likened it to a witch hunt. Williams at the time was representing the interests of the PNC at the commission. The coalition was also unable to ascertain the cost of the hearings to the taxpayers. Now in government, the coalition has since said that the hearing has so far cost the National Treasury $325 million. Reporting for Prime News, Julia Johnson.